Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do layers, um, and this is an image of NGC 7000. It's one single image. Uh, that's an after of shot, and that's before. So that's one image, and that's five images layered together with color correction. I'm going to show you how to go from this to something like this. Okay. The reason why you uh, use layers is it improves the signal to noise in the image and brings out more contrast, detail, etc. So I've got five images here of NGC 7000. Uh, I've already set it so that it opens in Adobe Photoshop Elements 5 which is what I'll be using so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open each one of these these are all on the same night but separate exposures uh, five images is probably about 10 minute exposure I guess for each one maybe a little bit more I think the ISO is about 400 uh, or 200 maybe. In fact, no, I was wrong. It's ISO 100. It says it at the top. Uh, okay. So I've opened five images. All of them look very pinky. The reason why they look so pink is because the camera's been modified for red emission nebula. They said the IR blocking filter removed, and I'm using a light pollution filter, so it's given an off-color cast. So I'll go back to the beginning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just to quickly I'm going to do auto levels for each one of these. It's not really the way to do it, but it's just to improve the picture. As you can see, it's get rid of that pinky sky background and making things a lot darker and a lot much much better. Um, as you can see, so I'll just do auto levels for all of these, like so. I'll go back to the first one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag each one into there, and as you can see on the right, it's putting it in the layers window. So you'll end up with five images and a background image, or four images and a background image. There's the background. You've got an eye for each one of these. So I'm going to turn off all these eyes except for one, which is this one. I'm going to click on that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to overlay. And you can see how much different that makes that. Now this is already the cursor is already set to magnifier, so I'm just going to zoom in. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you now, I'm going to go over to the move tool and if I click on the image and drag you can see, if you look there, you can see the two layers. Now what I tend to do is I don't really use the cursor much, I use the up, down, left and right key. And as you can see that's put that in and then what I do is I click that off, I turn that one on do the same to each one so I'm just going to put each one into overlay and again if you look sort of there and there you can see the two stars are not lining up so if you watch I'll sort of bring that in a bit okay like so and then I turn that one off and I'll turn that one on I click across and go to overlay and I'm just going to keep doing the same thing basically now this one's way off. If you look, you can actually see there's one star and there's the other. So I'm going to go down, bring that across. Okay, turn that one off, turn that one on, click on this, click on overlay. You don't have to use overlay, I'm just doing that as an example. Again, you can see the obviously my tracking's moved somewhat because the stars are quite a bit off from the first couple so I'm just going to shift that across and down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn each one off on sorry and get that right each one of the eyes are on so it's showing you all the layers I go back over to here click on the magnifier right click and fit on screen now, as you can see that looks completely over processed it looks so red it's a bit too much uh, I'm gonna go back to this one and you can actually pick what you like or you can have dark and you can have light and you can have normal you know there's all these different things you can have but what we'll do is I'm just gonna just select light and for most of these usually the last one needs to be different to light and because it's it descends to uh, as you'll see in a moment if I do lighten on that, it, it blows it right out. So what I'll do is I'll either pick normal or keep it at overlay probably. That seems to be a bit better. 
Now, to demonstrate and show you how much difference that's made to the noise level, if you look at this image, you can see the pixel sizes in here. If I start clicking these little eyes off, you can actually see the grain increases and gets worse, and the noise gets worse. So there's one, as you can see, that's a big, massive difference. Start down here, you can just see the actual grain. And if you sort of right click and fit on panel, and then turn these back on again, it could steadily get better. And then two, you end up with something like that. And that's basically how you do that. And then what I do is I fit to screen, click on layer, flatten the image. Let's put all the pictures in together. And that, I then tend to click on enhance, go to lighting, go to brightness and contrast. And then you sort of tweak it a little bit here and there. And then okay. And that is how you do layers in basic form. Thank you for watching.